Yeah, I mean, today we came out and I thought our first half was, was pretty solid. We did some good things. We moved the basketball. We shared the basketball. Um, I thought we did a, a, a really good job of, of getting to the free throw line, and that gave us a chance to, to go into halftime with the lead. Second half, we didn't come out and uh, finish the way we needed to. So, you know, you have to credit Rutgers. They're a gritty team. They came out, they made plays, they made some shots in the second half. We weren't able to provide enough resistance to slow them down, to give ourselves a chance to, to win a ball game that, um, you know, we played well enough in the first half to give ourselves a chance to win. We didn't finish it the way we needed to. Hey, Coach. I saw Julian Reese in the lineup today. Um, can you talk about what went into that decision and your thoughts on his play today? You know, Julie's been practicing well. Um, it's just a different look for us. You know, he came out, he did some really good things for us, um, just in regards to his activity level. Um, rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. He made his free throws. Um, and just, you know, just, just went for a different look. You know, Q's still going to play minutes. And those two guys will probably flip flop a little bit more throughout the course of the year. Um, what, what changed offensively in the second half for you guys, and, and why do you think you guys are struggling to get to the free throw line like you did in the first half? Um, well, we had some opportunity to score the ball. We just didn't make shots. Um, you know, we struggled from behind the line, three-point line, and then inside of it also. Um, you know, we shot four free throws in the second half. Um, obviously, we would like to shoot a lot more than that didn't work out that way. You know, they ended up shooting one free throw in the first half and they, sh you know, they shoot eight in the, in the second. So, you know, sometimes it, it balances out like that because of how it's a Got to the free throw line, and um, you know the few of those shots he made were contested fairly well. He just 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 better offense than the defense at that particular time. But he's a talented basketball player. He scores inside and out, like Akeem said, scores on three levels, and um, he got it going today, and we couldn't slow him down. Danny, early on, you guys were turning them over early and often. What was the key in the first half where you guys were able to get so many loose balls? I thought we had really good active hands defensively, created some deflection, gave us a chance to get out in transition. Um, you know, the second half, um, we, we didn't create as much as we would like. Um, but, you know, for the game, you know, we turned them over 16 times. And so, you know, we got to continue to trend in that direction. And then we have to, you know, take advantage of those opportunities in, in the fast break setting. They did a better job of handling our pressure in the second half. And coach, you talk a lot about kind of getting into the bonus and the double bonus early and often when it comes to these games, and you definitely did that today. What went into that, and what factors do you think contributed to that early on here? Well, we want to we want to get paint touches, or we want to have more paint touches, obviously, than our opponents because we feel like that gives us a chance to break the defense down, get in the paint, play off of two feet, kick it out to wide open shooters or draw fouls. For us, that's part of our formula to score the basketball. Um, you know, we're one of the better teams in the country at getting to the free throw line and making them when we get there. So, you know, that's been something that's given us a chance to be successful as a team, and that's just part of who we need to be um, with our offensive scheme of things. Hey, Eric, uh, this one's for you back here. I don't know if you can see and hear me back here. Um, you know, obviously, not the way you guys wanted this game to go after the way you played in the first half, but, but as a leader of this team, what, what do you kind of say to the younger guys? What do you kind of say to this group to kind of rally everyone going forward and try to bounce back and turn things around here? Um, kind of just, 
you know, I talked to a couple guys, just take the time. Uh, we got a, lo a long afternoon today. And um, just go back and watch that second half. Um, I feel like we, you know, we did a great job, you know, guarding the ball in the first half. And, you know, we got some easy transition. But, um, myself included, you know, I feel like as players, we should watch that second half. And, um, you know, the coach is going to have enough ready for us, you know, when we come back from practice. But, um, you know, we should watch our own mistakes and, you know, see what we can be better at. And where where things took a turn. Eric, you guys had a pretty significant halftime lead, which is something you guys hadn't had other than the execution stuff we've been talking about. Um, is there anything different you would have liked to see in the with the way you approach the second half from a mentality mindset standpoint, or do you think it's all just kind of the execution side? Um, definitely execution, uh, and just being able to adapt throughout the game. Um, you know, they kind of made, you know, certain runs throughout the game. And, um, you know, they made they got good stops on us defensively. So uh, as a team, we got to adapt better, I feel like. Um, you know, when things taking turns or teams going runs, we just got to, you know, take them and, you know, um, you know, not really get defeated by it. You know, uh, the Big Ten is tough. Um, you know, no game is going to be easy. And, you know, we just got to go out and compete every night. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone.